Welcome back everybody. I'm Andrew Flushi, your traffic and misdemeanor attorney. Today we're gonna to do another Reddit reaction video. This is where my wife has picked out a Reddit thread that I haven't seen yet. I'm gonna do it right here on video, a real reaction, and we're gonna respond as well and go through some tips and tricks that you might need to know about whatever Reddit has in store for us today. Received a reckless driving ticket on my private property road slash driveway. Before anyone gets upset about the speed, this is a gated off private road slash driveway. There were zero chances of another car being on it unless they broke through a locked gate and trespassed on clearly marked private property. So my driveway is in a weird spot. It goes alongside a highway for about four miles before turning off and up towards the house. The entire property is fenced off and gated slash posted private property, no trespassing. I use my driveway as a place to work out kinks in my cars, get them set up properly, etc., before going to the drag strip. I love cars and try to do things as safely as possible. Roll cages, proper harnesses, and helmet, etc. I never open them up on the road because I have no need to. I can do it on my own private property. Okay, right here I'm gonna call BS. A car enthusiast who doesn't ever open up your car on the road? I work with a lot of people over my many years as a traffic attorney, and I'm sorry I'm calling BS on the OP right here. Anyways, last night I was having fun with my newly broken in engine, doing a few runs back and forth, and after the sixth or seventh run down, I notice a cop with lights on sitting down at the gate. I head down and tell him I'll be right back. I have to go get the key to the gate, but he insists I stay there. So I stay and he demands license, registration, insurance. I tell him I have none of those on me and the car isn't even registered or insured. I bring it to him from the track slash strip on the trailer. I tell him this because the car isn't even street legal and is a track car. Oh my goodness. Why are you even talking to the police at all? You're clearly behind a locked gate. He is clearly on the other side of the locked gate. You should have just said, have a nice day officer and went about your business. Gone up to the house, put the car in the garage and went inside. I, I, I'm, I'm astounded that you even talk to the police. Have you not seen any of my videos? So he just gets my information from my name, date of birth, address, etc. I ask him why he's even here because this isn't a road. Why is he stopping me? And again, the police officer is there asking you for information and you're gonna turn around and ask him, why are you even stopping me? This isn't a road. He's not stopping you. You're in your private property. He can't come on your private property without a search warrant or an arrest warrant or some exigent circumstance. And just a dude running up and down his driveway is not an exigent circumstance. That might give him a reason to go get a search warrant or an arrest warrant, but he'd have to go get a warrant to come on your private property through your locked gate. He tells me reckless driving and he has me on laser doing 162. That's commendable, 162. That's pretty nice little speed at 800 feet. I start to argue that this is a private road slash driveway, clearly, because he's sitting behind a locked gate. And how can I be recklessly driving on private property? He starts telling me I can go to jail if I keep arguing. After about 20 minutes of just standing at my gate, he gives me a ticket to sign for reckless driving. The ticket doesn't even have a posted speed for the road on it because this isn't a road. What do I need to do to bring to the court date to show that this, this isn't a road and he has no jurisdiction to enforce traffic laws on it? I'm not trying to cause a huge issue, but it's kind of stupid he even gave me a ticket. I didn't feel like continuing to argue with him because he was it was going nowhere. I live in Texas and the sheriff's department is who wrote the ticket. Okay, you shouldn't have even talked to the police officer in the first place. And definitely you shouldn't argue with him because it's not going to go anywhere. He's decided he's going to write a ticket. And you don't need to be just posting on Reddit about what to bring with you to court. You need to be getting a good local traffic attorney. This sounds like a serious ticket. If this was in Virginia, a charge of going 162 on private property, that's a case that a judge could put you in jail for. Aside from that, what do you need to do to prove your case? Well, you need evidence about the nature of the road. I suppose if this is your property, maybe bring the deed to show it's my house, my property, and also maybe pictures to show the clearly locked gate. You'd want to be able to document for the judge that this was all on your own private property. Let's see what the Reddit posters have to say about this. I'm a lawyer, but not in your state. Sounds like officer charged wrong offense. It's driving charges don't usually apply on private property that is closed to the public. However, there may be a valid charge for some form of reckless endangerment, which can apply anywhere. I don't see it necessary for you to prove private property as it is the officer's burden to prove you're on a public road, which he can't. It is the state or the Commonwealth's burden to prove ele every element of the offense. Always keep that in mind. You don't necessarily have to prove your innocence. The officer or the prosecutor has to prove you're guilty. And in cases like this, being on a highway is an element of the offense. 
Um, and I agree with this lawyer who's from a different state that it, I don't see how they're gonna prove that this was a highway, but there could be some other code section. This is where you need a good lawyer because what could happen is this poster could get to court uh, and he could proudly be ready to plead not guilty and have his evidence to prove that this is not a highway and that this is private property. The prosecutor could make a quick little motion to amend the statute to a different code section and now the poster is out of luck and he doesn't even really understand what's going on because it's legal talk. This is where a good defense lawyer would be at your side arguing against an amendment or at least know what's happening and hopefully be prepared for the charge to be changed on you. So the next question in response to the lawyer, so I can be charged potentially with reckless endangerment even if I'm the only one in the car slash on the property? That's a really good question and the answer is yes. If we set aside the highway issue, if you had a, char a road that was in fact a highway, there's a good example near us. There's a little private school that's got a little road that leads to it. And at certain times, there's nobody on the road because it just goes down to the little private school. It is a public roadway. So if you're the only one on that roadway, yes, you can be charged with reckless driving for doing burnouts or you know testing your drag strip car on that little piece of road. It's clearly a public highway. Even if you're the only one potentially in danger, yes, you could be charged. But keep in mind, that's because it's a public roadway and somebody else could come along, somebody that you're not expecting. In the original poster situation, he's on his locked gate on his own property, and that's where it's very different. If you find yourself in a situation like this, you definitely should be at least consulting a local traffic attorney. I hope the original poster did. I don't see any updates on this thread about what ultimately happened in court. Hopefully, he's not still sitting in jail in Bear County, Texas. And remember, the best advice in these situations is don't talk to the police. Be sure to subscribe for a new video every other Tuesday.